Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems and today we have got one system from the user XT48-O to uh, check out and their system is called the uh, ICX5 system, a system surrounding 1.42 sun radius star um, and he says it's my first planet to be one of the mega banded. He's got one of his first mega banded in here. Okay, cool. All right, let's see what um, they have prepared for us then. So um, here we are. Okay, so this is called the uh, yeah the ICX system. So let's give it a search up. Where are we? Uh, there it is. Okay, so the ICX five system. Okay, right. Hello there. Right. Okay, so what have we got here? Looks like we've got four objects. We've got a nice short and sweet system for today. So here it is star itself so like he said 1.42 in suns in radius but it has less mass than the sun so it's got some interesting stats there luminosity little uh almost double the brightness of the sun as well okay right on to the first um object of the day here so here it is oh looks like we need to go on realistic light in there we are so we like a simulation it actually runs as well so here's the first object so icx 5 c so here it is, it's got a little bit of a weird glitch there, probably because it's imported from an older version of the game, so we just need to ignore that. So here we have a basic sort of mercury light world, obviously barren rock, fairly warm from the temperature of the star. So there's that one. Next up we got um, ICX5A, so we got a more frozen uh, cool world, looks like it's um, actually does look really nice actually. We need to, um, let's get rid of that ice, that needs to go because that just ruins it, melt. There you are, I mean I think that helps a bit, uh, let's just uh, watch as it plays out. So let it rotate. There you go. So we've got a nice um, Earth-like world there. So look at its temperature. It is a fairly cold world, though. It doesn't get much um, temperature. So let's put it to zero degrees. Does it? Oh, no, it does warm up. Okay. So it just needs the simulation to run a bit. So it does warm up in temperature. Let's see what sort of stats this thing has given us. So 92 and 9.93. It probably just needs the temperature to rise a bit. Uh, let's just let the simulation play out for a bit. Let the planet sort itself out. Because this, in theory, should increase, I hope. I mean, yeah, it just needs to just needs a bit of temperature, so we'll let it run. Uh, let's have a few years around the star. Oh, we're at maximum speed. Okay, so we'll come. We'll have to come back to that. So let it warm up and do its thing. Let's put it to 15. See if it can uh, let it survive from that. Let it cool down a bit. Okay, cool. All right, so next planet out. So we got ICX 5D over here. So this one looks to be a very frozen up world indeed. So here it is. Here again, we'll probably we'll give it a little melt just to see where it should sit. So melt. So maybe it's maybe an all-ocean world, maybe it isn't. We'll pull it to zero degrees, see where it sorts itself out. So this one does get colder, so maybe it is meant to be a frozen world. But yeah, there is this one. So that's a, yeah, an all-ocean uh, all world or all-ice world once it freezes up again. And then lastly, we have got... Ho, 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 right. Looks like uh, one of the rings on here has gone a little crazy, but here it is. So this is the gas giant he was talking about. And yeah, i got to say, it's a good-looking gas giant. I like it. ICX5B. I, I rate it. Honestly, I really do. I like that. So, so see, it's got a ring system. Looks like some of the rings have gone a bit AWOL and, and they've kind of escaped. But um, we can see the initial ring system here. That's what it should look like. And yeah, i got to say, good looking world. I like it. I really like the mix of like the dark sort of um, greens in there mixed with the uh, lighter blue ring. I've got to say, that is a, that's a good looking world. I think I'll probably have to save that for my personal collection, if you don't mind. I mean... I've got to say that's that's a nice it's a nice looking world. I really really like that. Um, let's um, put the brightness up a bit. There you are. There's the beauty in all its glory. So obviously nice mixes of blues and there. We've got some obviously dark greens, turquoises, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I've got to say that is very very nicely blended together. I really really like that. So looking at its stats itself, it's obviously fairly cold. Uh, Twenty seven masses of Earth radius wise. Um, let's see here. So forty nine thousand. So that sh that should pull it roughly. Neptune-sized? Oh, God, blimmin' X, a lot bigger than Neptune. Maybe we're more on a Saturn sort of scale, yeah. Neptune is only... Oh, I'm looking in radius, aren't I? That's why I was thinking diameters, so... Yeah, Uranus and Neptune, they're about half this. I mean, yeah, this is a, uh, this is pretty big. Because remember, this is 49,000 in uh, kilometres. Also, if you half that, you get about 25, which is roughly what Neptune and Uranus are, so... Yeah, this thing's uh, it's pretty big, and yeah, it's a good, it's a great looking world. So yeah, there we are. Oh, does we remove the rings just to get a look of it without the rings? Let the simulation play a bit. So now let's actually go ahead and look at the other planets in the uh, inner system. Let's just see um, how those planets sort themselves out after time. So what about this world here? Does this world get any? So that one looks like it's constantly stuck around 100. Okay, next world out, our Earth like worlds. Okay, so this one sits around six degrees. So there we go. You can see it's uh, seasons. Look at the seasons on it go as well. So I'll see the. Uh, 
different seasons of it getting warmer and colder there. So this planet's a fairly cool Earth-like world. So if you like winters, this is probably the place to go. I mean, if we look at its overall surface here, so we can see the equator only hits 18 degrees. It's a very, very chilled world. Also, if we go north or south, it goes to minus 38 in the poles. So, yeah, the north and south pole are in minus 38 degrees. So, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's probably a fairly comfortable world, honestly. I mean, it's obviously colder than most. I mean, if we look at the equator, which is the white area, even if you start heading into the red area, the red area is at 10. If you go into the bottom of the red area, you're already in, like, minus. So, yeah, it's a fairly cold world overall. But if you like winter, this is probably the place for you. So... There it is there. Let's have a look on its um, stats. So 94 and 10. Yeah, I mean, although it's colder, definitely life as we know it could probably survive here. So there you go. Also, it's got nice ocean, plenty of land. Yeah, anything that likes cold temperatures. There you go. Right, and then the next world out, I'm guessing it's frozen like it should be. So yeah, this is an all frozen world, frozen ocean like Europa. So there is that world. And obviously, lastly, we had the uh, gas giant out there. So i got to say, very, very, very basic system. I mean, if we look at it, Four standard circular orbits, and then obviously the star. Nothing else out there, but I've got to say, nice, nice little collection of objects in there. Uh, that star does look really cool. The way we have frozen it here. So let's just like line up everything. See what we have got here. So there's obviously star, gas giant in here, and then onto the planets. I do like the design of that Earth-like world. Obviously the darker blue ocean, the green on it, frozen world, and then our Mercury-like world there. So yeah, there is the full lineup of this system. See so yeah, a very, very short one. Um, but yeah, that was from the user XT48 uh, Dasho. So a massive thank you to them indeed for uh, sending their simulation in. And yeah, if you enjoyed the system and would like to submit your own system, make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description. And there you can upload your uh, systems in there for me to uh, check out. Remember, there is a queue though. Um, it does take me time to get through uh, these systems as I can only film one a week. So yeah, it's uh, quite, quite a wait time at the moment, unfortunately. But yeah, I, I can only do so much after all. So yeah, please keep that in mind. But yeah, with that all said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day out there. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.